Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a check-in slash status update video. I'm going to be just talking about my experience thus far through the semester. As you would imagine, I would have preferred to do this check-in video halfway through the semester, but with midterms being around that time, I'm just now kind of having some breathing room, so taking this opportunity now to do so. <laughs> Overall, I would just characterize this semester as being the most difficult slash stressful semester that I've had thus far in Georgia Tech's like program. You can probably think of one or two semesters in undergrad that were just as stressful, if not more challenging. But this semester is definitely really pushing me to my limits, I'd say. I definitely don't regret taking this course load. It was definitely ambitious. Um, I think what's kind of made it more stressful was just because in like late September and October I just had a lot of things going on for my full-time software engineering role that were eating up a lot of my time, energy, and were kind of stressful so then that made the school side of things extra stressful. But that is pretty much being wrapped up now and I think you know at the same time on the school side of things for the machine learning course it's kind of past the hump and I think for the INTA course, it's probably ramping up, uh, but we'll see about that. So I'll just briefly kind of talk about each class and then that'll be it. I'll start by covering ML. So the machine learning course, obviously I knew was going to be the much bigger time commitment compared to the other course. And that's definitely been true. I wouldn't say the amount of hours that I spend has taken me by surprise kind of knew I'd be spending 25 hours a week or so. And I think that's accurate. There are certainly people that spend way more time than 25 hours a week, I think, on this course. But what has taken me by surprise is just like how those 25 hours feel. You know, that sounds really philosophical and whatnot, but I would say like, you know, 25 hours for this class, there are 25 like kind of stressful hours because I could work 25 hours and if I feel like I know what I'm supposed to be doing, what the graders are expecting, what results I should be getting, you know, those 25 hours can feel very good. But in this class, these assignments are very open-ended. Uh, it's kind of all about like what results you get and why. And the explanation and analysis part is what is stressful because obviously, you know, as a novice, I don't know what these results mean. I'm first of all just trying to figure out how to run these, you know, MO algorithms and experiments in the first place. Um, but you know, not really knowing like what results I should be getting versus what I am getting, what that means, that's really what has made it stressful. Uh, another thing is just like you have to like kind of like keep your ear to the ground or listen on Slack and Ed or watch the office hours to figure out what exactly the graders want because it's really unclear. In the assignment basically the assignment basically doesn't tell you at all what what like graphs or things they expect from a grading perspective so that's just other things that add to the stress of this class like i said it's not like i'm spending a huge amount of time i could spend more time but i think i kind of have the approach where it's like if i spend more time it would make me like emotionally and mood wise feel way worse it's just like a diminishing returns thing i don't know if it would help my grade much at this point I think I've only had one grade back and that was assignment one. So assignment one, I actually got like above a 90 on it, which is crazy. Uh, and that made me feel good because the midterm absolutely bombed it. I was graduating that weekend, so I had absolutely no time to actually prepare for the midterm. I took the midterm having just watched the lecture videos for the first time, like hours before. So. You know, that was kind of doomed from the start, but I haven't gotten any other grades back. It's kind of insane how slow the grades are. Like the withdrawal period just ended October 31st. And at that point, the only grades we had back were one assignment grade and the midterm grade. I'm kind of just hanging in there, hoping for the best, but I do think, you know, my writing ability is pretty good. So even though like I'm not running as many experiments as other people, I think, just like my explanations have hopefully been enough to carry me through this course, but we'll see, of course. And that leaves the other course, which is INTA 6450, and this class is 
definitely cool. Like I enjoy this class. I don't necessarily feel like I'm learning a ton from the programming or technical side of things, but I'm definitely enjoying it because I think the topics are kind of cool. It's definitely easy, which is kind of what I wanted, uh, but that is definitely going to change, I think, as we go into the final stretch of the semester. Thus far, the grades have just been based on answering these quizzes, which are pretty easy. They're basically just making sure that you watch the lectures. Very little thought has to go into that. And these discussion exercises, which, like I said, I enjoy, but I don't think they're difficult. I kind of enjoy like the topics that we have the discussion posts about. If you recall, I think when I signed up for this class, I thought that one of the benefits or things that I would learn was R. So I, I have turned in like the R exercises. I still have to do some more tonight. But they're very introductory R exercises. They're not impressive by any means. And, you know, I'm pretty proficient in Python, I would say. So everything that we've done in R is stuff that I could do very easily in Python. So I don't really see myself ever, you know, advertising that, I know how to do stuff in R because I can make it run, but I could make it run in Python a lot better so far. So I just haven't taken the time to really like examine and explore R and when, when it's really worth using over Python or something. Something that has kind of surprised me is this course project that we're doing is revolving, you know, finding fraud and wrongdoing in like a large email corpus. And something that kind of has surprised me is that they've stored it as like an Elasticsearch document store. So I didn't expect to be getting any experience, you know, querying with Elasticsearch, but I have, and that's been a huge plus and I've actually really enjoyed that. So it'll be interesting to see kind of like how I feel at the end of the semester because this final project and final paper slash presentation takes up a huge portion of your grade. And it's a group project. And I think my group is just now kind of figuring out that we need to start doing stuff now. So stay tuned for that. But thus far, this class has been enjoyable. I've learned a little bit, but kind of not what I expected. And you know, I'm happy about it. So I'll check in uh, with like a final course review, of course, for both these courses at the end of the semester. So probably mid-December and stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.